Derek Falvey, nice enough to join us here despite some rainy and cold temperatures here at Target Field. So, Derek, we really appreciate it. And I would assume that a little rain right now is the least of your concerns yeah. when you get to celebrate back-to-back -back Central Division championships. Yeah, no doubt about that. Rain's never felt this good on the field, I can tell you that. But uh, in a year we can't celebrate normally uh, with the champagne and otherwise inside, I'll, I'll pretend that's what's happening right now. What was today like for you with all the uncertainty, not knowing who you guys would face and just all the different possible scenarios and then it got kind of interesting there at the end with Chicago really making a push against the Cubs. What were these last couple of minutes like for you? Yeah, last night it started really we were talking about some potential opponents uh, post game with Rocco and, and some of our advance crew and then we said, you know what, let's just wait until tomorrow. There's just too much uncertainty right now and so as we got into today watching the games, obviously the scores changed. White Sox are a great team and, and obviously you know, giving themselves a chance to come back in that game uh, we were just happy that the Cubs hung on just long enough and gave us a chance but I'm really proud of the crew. I mean, the, the guys all the way through. You know, a week ago, we didn't necessarily think this was a, a, a potential outcome, you know, big picture. But our guys just fought and battled, and, and now we stand here, AL Central champs again. And you stand here as champs after a season that, uh, as Rocco has said a couple times, there were so many plans put in place, but there was no guarantee that those plans would actually work out. And your team just handled everything with such class, and they took it so seriously and held each other accountable. How proud are you of how these guys has navigated such a crazy season. I, I am proud of any time, you know, guys go out and compete on the field and give it their best. You know, we're going to win some and lose some. I'm, I'm certainly proud of the 2019 club. But this 2020 club, what they had to deal with, with the restart and then trying to sprint to a finish and, and have some tough uh, challenges along the way. We've had some injuries. We've had some, we've faced some adversity. Every team has to stand on top at the end, hopefully in a season that we'll never see again, that won't be like this. Uh, I'll remember this forever, but I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly proud of the staff, the players, everybody who worked behind the scenes, our ballpark operations crew, everyone in the Twins organization pulled uh, together to pull this off, and, and they should all be proud of it. Yeah, and you mentioned the injuries and the adversity that you guys had to overcome, and with all of that mixed in with the fact that uh, now you are about to take on a team that you have not seen at all this season. And, and for the Twins this year, you guys have kind of become the team who has found a bunch of different ways to have success. So how do you translate that into success against a team like the Astros who you have not faced? Well, the Astros were, you know, last year's World Series, um, you know, runner up. I mean, they won the American League last year. I know they haven't had the same season uh, with the same crew of guys, but we take them in incredibly seriously. They have playoff experience. Uh, they are they are deep and, and they've know how to win in these October games. So we have to go about it like we would any other team, like we have all year. It's a next man up mentality for this club, always has been. And I think Rocco and the staff and everyone will get, uh, get the players ready for that. Well, we look forward to it. We will let you get into the clubhouse so you can dry off and warm up. But we, of course, really appreciate you taking the time to chat with us. And congratulations again on the success this year. Well, thanks, Audra. And to all the fans at home who get a chance to watch us, you know, and, and I know this has been a challenging year on so many fronts at home. And I hope that everyone takes pride in knowing, as part of Twins territory, that you're a big part of this. Uh, and we miss you here at the ballpark, but we know the fan support's critical for us. And, and we hope to make you proud for the next few weeks as we go forward. I'm sure Twins fans will be very proud. And, yes, they are a huge part of everything happening, and they are great fans. You guys are lucky to have them with you. <laughs>